Okay, so a wire thread insert. You can see there the little hook on the end is called the tang. That always points down towards the installation. And it's very important to know that when you are installing it, you get the installation tool and the point and the tang is pointing downwards. So the tang uh, sits at the, through that slot on the end of the installation tool. The collar here is adjustable. So you just pick up your screwdriver, adjust the little grub screw, push it down. And the ideal position for a wire thread insert is to ensure that the driving tang is positioned about halfway down that slot. Not right on the bottom, because that, all that will do is when you put pressure on the insert, it will stretch the insert and make it harder to install. Not too close to the end, because as the insert installs into the hole and stretches and follows the, the thread form of the tapped hole, it will stretch and fall off the end of the tool. So the ideal position is to have it about halfway down that slot. Tighten up the grub screw. And so now you've set your tool up ready to install the insert. The best thing to do then is simply apply some downward pressure until you feel the first thread start to wind in. And once that happens, it just follows the tapped thread form all the way through. As the collar is getting closer to the parent material, you can just slow down a bit and have a look. Ideal depth for installing an insert is about one to one and a half turns below the surface. It might be a bit hard to see, but um, that's pretty good. Okay, so once we've installed that, the idea then is to break that driving tang off so you can put your bolt in. Tool. And there we have our driving tang. And we can wind a bolt straight into that brand new thread. There we go. So now that we've seen how to install the insert, and as you can see, it's a very simple process, unlike some other. Um, threaded insert repairs, um, there's, there's only four steps and that's drilling, tapping, installing and breaking the tang. And we've shown you how to install an insert, we've broken off the tang, we've indicated how well they work and how strong they are and how they create a much stronger thread. If on the odd occasion you need to pull an insert out then you can use this ex extraction tool. It's got a triangular head and the edges are beveled. So by putting it into the hole and pushing down fairly hard, you can actually grab the first couple of threads and you can start to wind the insert out. Provided the insert is not being installed too deep, of course. If it has been installed too deep, the easiest way to do it is to get a, a, a very fine pick and perhaps pull the, and just pick at the first thread and then a pair of pointy nose pliers and you'll be able to just pull the insert out of the hole. And there we go. And there's no reason why you can't just get another insert now and install that straight into the hole provided you haven't done too much damage to the, the opening of the hole.